So for the last week and a few weeks prior, Texas has been in bad shape. Lots of snow, freezing temperatures, and no power. Naturally, no one wants to take responsibility for the bad state Texas is in, despite it being very clear who the culprit is. However, in the wake of all of this chaos, a bunch of Texans have come up with the conspiracy theory that the snow is government made. And I, I just... I live in Southern California, so I can't really grab a snowball off the ground and then explain to you why everyone spreading the Texas snow conspiracy theory is dumb. So I'm not gonna do that. However, I did start thinking about a conspiracy theory in my own state. Well, it's less of a conspiracy theory and more of a widespread concern. The idea that California was just gonna fall off into the ocean. The theory is that the San Andreas Fault, which is a boundary between two tectonic plates, will be the origin of a massive earthquake that rips California at the fault line and will cause California to fall off of North America and into the ocean. So will California fall in? No. I'm not a geologist, but even a little bit of science can explain why this doesn't make any sense. First off, continents are not just floating on top of water. When you're standing on a continent, it's usually pretty solid all the way down. Our continents are not just giant rafts made of dirt floating on the ocean. There's dirt all the way down to the core. If a massive earthquake somehow detached California from North America, it would just move slightly. There's no ocean underneath it for it to fall into. Not to mention the San Andreas Fault, the tectonic fault that people think will cause the split and sink California, does not actually run along California's border. It's actually rather far west. So a massive earthquake would just rip a sliver off, not the whole state. And as I mentioned earlier, that's not even possible. However, the biggest problem with the whole theory is simply that the San Andreas Fault is just a boundary of two tectonic plates, the Pacific and North American plates, and they move parallel with each other. This is called a strike slip. They do not move away from each other. So even if we had some sort of massive earthquake, it would just send this part of California northward, not westward and into the ocean. I'm not really sure where the whole idea came from, but the general population became aware of the San Andreas Fault after the 1971 San Fernando earthquake that resulted in a lot of damage and the deaths of 65 people. Interest in the San Andreas Fault peaked again in 1989 with the Loma Prieta earthquake, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake that shook the Bay Area and killed 63 people. The theory that California was going to sink into the ocean originated around this era, but I couldn't find out where exactly. If you know, let me know down in the comments below. Like most disasters, the big California earthquake that could rip California off the mainland is cinematic. And an earthquake that demolishes all of Southern California is also just a product of Hollywood. The San Andreas Fault can't produce an earthquake larger than a magnitude of 8.2, so earthquakes like the ones you see in movies are simply not possible in Southern California. But it doesn't mean that earthquakes aren't a problem. Earthquakes have a proven track record to cause damage and loss of life, and the next big earthquake could hit California, and it would have an estimated death toll around 1,500 people and an insane price tag for damages. If a massive earthquake hit Southern California, we would be in serious trouble, but it won't be as wild as you see in movies, so I wouldn't worry about it. Scientists estimate that there's less than 10% of a chance of a magnitude eight hitting California in the next 30 years. Though smaller earthquakes are more likely, they're less likely to cause catastrophic damage. If you're really worried about it, the only thing you can do is move, but every part of the US has some sort of impending natural disaster, so I guess you'll just have to pick your poison, or in this case, your catastrophic natural calamity.
Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like this video. And if you want to see more content by me, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you want, you can also post in the comments below what you think I should do my next video on, and I might actually do it. After you've done that, you should check out the sponsors of this video, National Realty Group. National Realty Group is a real estate company with offices located in Southern California. They're a one-stop solution office, meaning the real estate, mortgage, and escrow departments are located all in the same office. That means you can go through the whole process of buying or selling a house without the hassle of being bounced around to different companies. This makes the whole process a lot easier and a whole lot more enjoyable. Give them a call at 951-684-2600. Or if you're like me and you don't like talking to people, visit their website 